Tiafimo Lopez turns down a Ryan Garcia fight. How I feel about this, what I think about this, but first of all, salute and blessings to all my real ones. You already know it's Armin with Real Talk, another banger for you guys, man. And Ryan Garcia seems like offered Tiafimo Lopez a contract to go ahead and fight him. And Tiafimo Lopez wanted no part of it because he felt like that contract was a bit disrespectful and what we think about it. Ryan Garcia, um, it's been said and it's, um, you know, roaming out there in the boxing world, in those boxing streets that Ryan Garcia offered Tiafimo Lopez $1.5 million to fight him. But the catch to it was, is that um, the pay-per-view was going to be a 50-50 split. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to say what a fighter is worth or what a fighter is not worth, but I'm going to try to break this down, bro. Tiafimo Lopez felt a bit disrespected by this offer. And um, I got to I gotta say, man, when he fought Josh Taylor, he made over $2 million. And when he fought Lomachenko, uh, I believe he made, he made about the same amount. And I got to say, I think Ryan Garcia, honestly, today has a way bigger following than Lomachenko did. And I feel like a lot more people would tune into the fight. And I feel like... Um, Maybe Tiafimo Lopez does deserve a little bit more than $1.5 million. But you got to think about it like this, bro. As popular as Ryan Garcia is, um, I think the the uh, Lomachenko pay-per-view buys were about 300000 right? So let's say if they do like two hundred dollars to 300000 um in pay-per-view buys, $80 for those pay-per-view buys, Tiafimo Lopez could end up, you know, that $1.5 million could turn into $8, $10 million, you know, 12 million real quick like that in the snap of a finger. Now, do I feel like maybe Ryan low blowed him to say they offered, but he didn't want to fight? I don't think so, bro. I don't think Ryan is afraid to fight anybody. Now, definitely Tiafimo Lopez is not a Tank Davis. The fight won't be as huge and as popular and as fan friendly as a Tank Davis. And it won't um, attract all the casual fans, but all the boxing fans definitely will tune in. I think if Ryan Garcia honestly offered um Tiafimo Lopez 2.3 you know to um 2.5 mil throw in the extra mil in there with the 50 50 pay-per-view split I think I have no doubt in my mind that Tiafimo Lopez um would accept that money and would accept that fight bro because Tiafimo Lopez is at a point in his career he's been in the game for a little while man you know had fights with Lomachenko had fights with with Cambosis you know, and he's trying to get those big paydays as everybody else in the world, no matter is what, no matter what it is that we're doing, bro. So I'm not too mad at Tiafimo Lopez for turning, turning down the fight. I'm sure the people around him probably said the same thing that I'm saying, and he probably still wasn't rocking with it. Like I said, he might get that 1.5 million, but if indeed those pay-per-view splits are 50-50, and um, you know, Tio and Loma did like about 300. 300,000 buys, you know, Ryan and Tank, I mean, they just blew the charts. I mean, uh, blew the charts. I mean, Tiafimo Lopez ain't no Tank, like I said, but I still do believe Ryan Garcia, the following that he has, him and Tiafimo Lopez will for sure at least get like 200,000 to 300,000 pay-per-view buys, which will turn that 1.5 million if they do split it 50-50, you know, um, like, like I'm hearing, that 1.5 million could turn into 8, 10 million real quickly. And that's a nice little payday, bro, to get that 10 million. I have no doubt that the, the pay-per-views, it, it'll do those numbers. It'll do those numbers for sure. But that's some news for you guys, man. How do you feel about this? If you guys were in Tiafimo Lopez's shoes, would you feel like you are getting low-balled by that offer, even though Ryan Garcia is offering a 50-50 pay-per-view split? Like I said, I'm pretty confident that the people around him and his team you know, probably broke this down to him and he still kind of felt disrespected, bro. And, you know, um, let me know in the comments, bro. Like the video if you're rocking with the content, bro. If you're not subbed to the channel, please sub. Uh, we always keep it real here. Unbiased, man. You know, we don't do none of that corny BS and I just speak my mind, man. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And uh, peace and blessings to all my real ones as always, man. Get out there and get it. Nothing's impossible. We out of here.